Hey, this is Giant Color Blue Graph. I'm your host, Adrian Schwendt. And in this short video, I quickly want to show you how I interact when I want to do shackle shapes. Shackle shapes are super useful to validate RDF, to find errors in RDF. And this is obviously becoming more and more important when you have more data, because no matter what you do, no matter if you automatically or manually create data, you will create errors almost certainly. I was running in this problem yesterday when I was working on our upcoming enterprise knowledge and governance tool. We manually configure that right now and the configuration as everything else is in RDF. I will quickly show you what the configuration means. Basically, uh, this is what you can see here. I can tell the system how I want to explore a graph. So I basically have a metagraph, a hypergraph, however you want to call it, where I can go through an existing raw RDF graph. But that's not really the point. The point is that we broke things in here. We had some, some wrong things in the RDF. We didn't pay attention. And then this configuration basically breaks. So I wanted to create a shackle shape for validating that. And I'll quickly show you how I do that. So the first thing I do is I go on a software from us, which is called Specs. This stands for Sparkle endpoint introspection and it basically allows you to go into an existing sparkle endpoint figure out what data you have in there and then render that and as you can see the default view which it creates is already really big even though this is a proof of concept there are surprisingly many things in here so what i want to do is disable most of this stuff because i basically only want to see the shape and then we go in my vs code this here is the configuration, which I right now do manually. You can see that this thing here is among others of type class metadata shape. And I want to start creating a shackle shape for that so I can validate instances of this class. And I can check that all these things appear as they should be appearing in the data. So I go back to specs and I filter for class metadata shape, the one I want to create a shape for. So this is specs. Now I need to find it and it's in here. So I can enable this and now specs directly shows me an introspected view of what we have in the triple store right now. So that's it already for specs. What you can do here is you can click on copy. And what you get when I just post that into an empty window, I get here a shackle shape and VS Code thinks it's HTML. So when I make that turtle, I see that I get shackle node shape back. So it's basically auto populated a shackle node shape for me. But this is not very uh, nice to read yet. It's not super readable because it has the full IRIs in it. So I actually go into another tool from us, which is the RDF converter. And here on the left side in the input, I put in the input. Now I need to say that this is turtle, text turtle. And then it gives me these output options in uh, whatever you want to have. But what I want to have, because I want to manually work on this, is pretty printed turtle. So you see it was adding the namespaces here and uh, the prefixes and, and now I have properly pretty printed and in, intended uh, turtle. So I copy this and I go back to my editor. I replace that and just for the sake of demo, let's add uh, unnamed blank node like this. So now we can already see that this looks pretty reasonable. Now I copy that again and I go to yet another tool from us. This is the Shackle Playground. In here you can put in the data. This is the file you saw before. Just simply paste it here. You can add the shapes graph, which is what I just created. And it will complain about things in here. So now I can look at the error and I already know what's wrong. It has a pass for RDF type and it adds that this should be a class, but for some reasons I'm not going to explain right now, it doesn't think this is a class, which is technically correct. So I simply delete that. I do the same on this node here, which is also an RDFS class. And now it tells me this is correct. 
So what I actually want to do is I want to be able to say if we missed one of these or if we have more than one. What actually happens often is I copy paste this, I add it and then I start changing it because again, this is a prototype. I really manually edit the triples in here. And then I forget to adjust this name here and I have two times the same IRI and I get all the attributes, uh, all the properties twice and this will fail in the front end later. So I want to be able to detect that. When we go to the shackle specification, there is actually a thing for that. And I think, yes, this is this one. This is SH min count and max count. These are cardinality constraints. I want to say that I can only have one of each of these things. So I add min count and I say only one and a max count only one. So now we do that for all. So I quickly added that and that's how the thing looks like. Let's, for example, comment something. And you see, as soon as I comment something, it tells me there is uh, one thing which doesn't have enough values. And if for whatever reason I duplicate the label, for example, it will also complain about it. So as you can see, you don't see a lot of information about what I did wrong. It just says there is less than one value of something required. I have some other tools. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one from Apache Jena. Uh, let me see that. Yes. So this is the command line option of this thing. Um, I have Shackle validate. I give it the shape and the data file and it tells me what to do. Now I need to go to the editor because I have that thing here. I saved it as class metadata shape, the one you just saw. And I have the, not this one, but this one. This is uh, the file you just saw in the Shackle playground again. So this should be a correct version. Let's quickly validate that. And this is not this one. This is the class metadata. And then this is the data file. So I do that on my local system with this library. And it tells me, yes, uh, this is valid. Now we do what I did before. I quickly comment uh, one of the things which is mandatory. I do it again. And Jenna tells me that this is not correct. There is an error in here. And it gives me more details here. You see, uh, I get flux search prior, which is the one I was commenting. And it tells me like there is a min count constraint violation. So it expected one, it only got zero. So that's it. As you can see, you can do a basic shackle shape very, very easily in specs. You just copy it here on this icon and then you use this as a foundation. For example, in our shackle playground or in whatever uh, other environment you use for working on your RDF data. I hope this helps.